brand new Eagle 338 RETS, uh, complete with Premier package, just arrived here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, you're going to hear a lot of different manufacturers talk about their highest level product that they have available. And while there are a lot of nice things out there, there is no other travel trailer that will do everything that I'm about to show you. Um, one of the first things I want to talk about is the way this thing's built, and it's the reason this has twice the warranty of anything else in its class. Um, you can walk up to the side of a lot of smooth skin trailers, and first of all, start looking at it real close. In this one, it's all slick, and in fact, you can even see the reflection, because this is a high gloss in here. Um, lesser built brands are going to have, uh, you can actually see the fibers in the walls in here. But what I was getting at is you can walk up, and you can thump on the side of it, but we'll walk around to the side of the slide out on a Jayco. This is also fully vacuum laminated. Now, <clears throat> if you don't know the types of lamination, don't hesitate to give us a call so I can give you a quick rundown on those. There's uh, three different ways to put a fiberglass skin on a trailer. Um, they all have advantages. Vacuum bonding is the best from a structural and longevity standpoint and anti-delamination. Now, an, an option you can put on these is a rear bike rack. And a quick note I want to mention to you. Um, a lot of the things that you're going to see here are options that we have put into this RV. This one is very heavily loaded up. Um, it may actually even be a special order for a, a customer, I'm not sure. But the, uh, the point I'm making here is the one that you are purchasing may be slightly different than what you see here. I work very hard to make the pictures line up with your actual unit, and I always take the time to explain in our listing what all the options on your particular trailer are. So if, they, if the video and the pictures don't sync up, you know why. Frameless bonded windows are standard on, on the Eagle series. Your seal is underneath the window pane, so that helps keep the, uh, the sun away from it. And you see how these windows are basically jet black. You have to be looking real hard to see through them. It has an 80% UV tint, and uh, that's going to help keep your furniture from sun fading and obviously give you privacy. Um, the uh, Climate Shield insulation package on this travel trailer is the same as their fifth wheels and it is no joke. Uh, higher level insulation all the way around the entire RV. Forced air heated enclosed insulated underbelly. Not a lot of travel trailers can match that claim. Um, once again, like I said, please keep in mind that what you're seeing here may be slightly different from the trailer that you're purchasing. For instance, we have this equipped in what is called the um, brownstone dark leather touch uh, a, uh, fabric schemes. Um, so, you know, yours might be a little different. Now, we have this one built with a freestanding table. There could be a booth here, the one you're looking at. Um, this one has the ledge stone rear wall versus just a standard rear window entertainment system. Things like that can be different on the one you're purchasing. Again, please take a minute to verify the unit that you're looking at against the pictures and information that we have listed for you. This video is really here for layout and informational purposes. Now, um, an eight cubic foot refrigerator and freezer, standard in this series. In English, that means it's 30% larger. And uh, what, what that basically means is this entire bottom shelf that I have in frame right now, that's how much extra space you're getting, not to mention the extra space in the door. Um, this sofa right here is a hide-to-bed sleeper sofa. It's a tri-fold memory foam sofa from Denver Mattress. I have a little spotlight video on those if you need to learn a little bit more about it. Take a look through our website's RV videos page. Um, the electric fireplace that you see down here is actually an electric space heater. It'll work on 110 shore power and it will do wonders, especially in like spring and fall camping months, to really keep it warm and comfortable in here without burning up your propane. Um, your stereo is also your DVD player. It's an all-in-one type unit. It connects to your outdoor speakers. Um, it even has a handy little USB port that you can use to charge things like smartphones. Um, and it also has an auxiliary input here so you can plug your phone in and have a uh, you know full-blown entertainment system. And just coincidentally enough, they left a power outlet here so you can sit your phone here, charge it, and have it plugged right in. Now take a look at the fit and the finish on this. Here's the attention to detail that they have. They have wood frame around all windows. How cool is that? All windows. Um, your ledgestone TV comes with a larger, or pardon me, ledgestone fireplace comes with a larger TV when you get that option included on your RV. Um, I mentioned the freestanding table. There's so many things to go over on this RV. I'm trying not to hurry too much, but there's a lot to cover, and I try not to go too long on these videos. 
Uh, this air conditioner is basically always going to be a 15,000 BTU instead of a 13.5. In English, that means this is 50% more powerful. Now, here's another thing to mention. This is physically taller than basically anything else in its class. The walls start taller, and then it has the barreled roofing. So it's seven foot tall at the peak. Most trailers cannot match that. Um, your cabinetry, uh, the, the quality of your cabinetry here, just to let you know, is built to last. Because these drawers right here, especially if grandkids come over, they're going to sit here, and that's how they're going to close them. They're going to slam these doors, and this is built to last. 18-gallon-per-hour um, hot water heater. Um, it has a turbo system that will let you do uh, hot and cold water at the same time. Um, this is something I really like here is the little, um, I don't know, control center, master control center. Awning controls right here, slide-out controls right here. Uh, awning lights, I forgot to show you that. This has awning lights outside, um, and it's a really cool strip system. Let's go look at that real quick. Now, here's another neat thing. Jayco's remote control system is the best, most reliable I've seen in the industry. Okay, so the lights I was going to show you, you notice there's strip lighting right here under the awning. Now, let me show you how this guy works. Turn it on, select awning, hit extend. So you can have this in your hand, in your patio chair, operating your awning, your slide outs, things like that. Now look at how cool this is. This lighting here is actually mounted at the base of the awning. Now what's neat about that is if you don't have the awning out, kind of like I don't have it all the way out right now, you can still use the lights. But if the lights were in the roller tube, it wouldn't do you any good. And again, one button rolls it right up for you. And this also operates your slide outs, it operates your porch light, it does a lot of really neat things for you. And of course, it conveniently stores right next to the door. Um, the bathroom facility in this is amazing for two reasons. It has two entry doors, one from the hallway, one from the bedroom. It's set up just like a fifth wheel. Uh, unfortunately, you get to see my head. <laughs> How are you doing? But this is a big walk-in residential shower with full wall panels surround. No big step up. So if uh, you know you have maybe a a little bit of limited mobility it's easy to get in and out you do have the seating area here for bathing now because of that arched domed roof i talked to you about you have tons of headroom in here for instance i'm 6'3 and look at all the headroom i have above me here so you have plenty of room now all of your interior lights are led lights and those are standard you're not paying extra for that um, your bathroom here comes with the larger create a breeze type fan to give you more airflow. Um, now this particular RV we're looking at, we have added the second air conditioner. We may not do that with every single Eagle Premier. I just want you to know. Um, this is set up for a second TV in the bedroom. With the Premier package, that right there, that closet with the slatted doors, is uh, pre-prepped for a combo washer-dryer. Now, not only do we have another window here in the bedroom across the bed, but we have this big series of dresser drawers. This particular one we're looking at, in this video has a king size bed upgrade and this is a Denver mattress sleep system. Any price point you find a Jayco towable RV, they spend more money on their mattress than anybody else. That is the nicest standard mattress you will ever find in a towable RV. And again, there are so many more things I could talk about, but I wanna try to wrap this video up here. So don't hesitate to give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everyone. Happy camping.